Welcome back. Here are five things you need to know today. UAW President Sean Fain planning to announce whether the union will expand its strike against the big three. He surprised many after ordering a walkout at Ford's plant in Kentucky Wednesday night. Fain says the announcement uh, done to light a fire under Ford, accusing the company of refusing to bargain for almost seven weeks. He's scheduled to go live on Facebook again around 10 this morning. And more of the accused fake electors appearing in court Thursday, including Grand Blank School Board member Amy Facinello. The legal proceedings for six of them pushed back to December by a district court judge in Lansing. Many of the defense lawyers citing a wide swath of evidence that their teams would need to sort through. And the Four Lakes Task Force says its restoration project for Midland and Gladwin counties will cost $100 million more than last year's estimate of $250 million. The money is going towards the Secord, Smallwood, Edenville, and Sanford Dams, as well as Secord, Smallwood, Sanford, and Wixom Lakes. Scarecrow Fest is back this month in Frankenmuth. There will be scarecrow displays, a pumpkin catapult, pumpkin bowling, and pumpkin painting. For a full schedule of events, head to the hot link section of our website, WNEM.com. Tomorrow, Saginaw will experience a partial solar eclipse, and Hoyt Library is giving you the chance to see it for yourself. So from Saturday morning at 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 that afternoon, the library is setting up an observation station featuring a solar telescope and even binoculars. We'll have more on the eclipse in just a few moments.